Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I hope this is going to be a relatively short video. This lock here is just a standard three lever mortise lock, and uh, you'll see that these levers do have some false gates or false notches. Now, for a video I'm going to make, I'd like to show how we pick through these, and uh, that involves making a, a cutaway. I could do a Perspex one, but I've already got a video in the bank for that. So I was going to do one about how we can make a little cutout window in a lock like this so that we can essentially see inside as we pick it. So the first thing to note is with these levers, when we make a cutout window, we don't really want to make the window much higher um, or higher than the top of the lever pack when it's in the locked position like this. What we want to do is maybe just have it uh, coming about a couple of mils or so below the top, just so that these won't get caught in the window. The other thing is we don't want to go too far. <laughs> you see why it's important to have a cutaway because these um, you've got to have the cover on, otherwise these lever springs will just go everywhere. And uh, the, the actual casing itself that comes with the lock is just perfectly fitting and works the best with these these levers. So if you just cut a window in, it's going to operate very much like a, a standard lock, as as opposed to when you put the perspex on, it can sometimes compress the levers and make them act a bit weird. Okay, so you don't want to go too far this way either towards where the keyhole is because it's always good to try to keep that well preserved. Um, same with the, the bottom of the lock really, don't really want to uh, go too far beyond, <laughs> too far beyond where these, uh, the, the belly of the levers um, will lift to, although it doesn't really matter or um, ex ex too much the other way around. So I'll probably go to the bottom of where the bolt assembly is here, so just about this level. So really looking to, at a, a window which goes from the bolt stump across, down, and across again, just in a little square or thereabouts. Precision at this point doesn't matter too much. Now, I've got a, a ruler. And what I've discovered is from whereabouts I want it to the bottom of the casing is about four centimeters, 40 millimeters. And uh, I'm going to go from the, the edge of the bolt stump in the lock position as my measurement. And the casing goes up to this point here, not all the way to the front. So if I measure roughly there, and again, you know, margin of error, let's just say two and a half centimeters. So all, all of a sudden I've got the top of the cut. These will not behave, will they? You can, this is exactly why you want to do a cutaway window because you cannot do that without, you can't pick these locks without the front cover, clearly. Um, and the, if we take four centimeters as it was up there, then uh, about there. I'm going to use one width of the ruler. That should be sort of fine. It'll give us a chance to preserve that keyhole, maybe a little bit less. And that's about two centimeters to the bottom of the bolt. Okay, let me mark this up with a Sharpie uh, according to my measurements and I'll be right back. Go on, you know you want to. Okay, so that's uh, roughly what I think is going to work for us there. So that little window cutout should show us a little square around here and allow us to see the lock being picked as we go. All right, so how am I going to cut this out? Well, um, this metal is, is some kind of steel, but it's not particularly strong. So a small one mil grinding disc from a handheld Dremel tool, uh, once this is clamped down properly, shouldn't be more than about 10 minutes work. So give me a second, I'm gonna just grind that out. Um, just use it a bit like um, I, I was 
cutting something with a knife, just, just literally go straight in and cut down and see where we get to. And here we are, this is uh, where we've got to. So I um, marked out that little window. I just cut it out with the Dremel tool or the rotary multi-tool, whatever you want to call it. And this is what you can see now. You see the uh, lever pack and the lever spacers. Put the key in and it works just fine. So we can see all of those kind of false notches there and the gating bolt stump moves left and right, lovely job. There you go. So um, that's how I would go about making a little cutaway window on one of these locks. Just take a little bit of care and time and it really isn't that long a job at all. You make it as neat as you want. You don't need to make it quite as neat as this or indeed you can make it neater. If you ever want to uh, pick this blind, of course, you can always just stick a bit of paper or masking tape over that hole so that you don't feel you're cheating. And um, other than that, it's a perfectly working, good order lock. Good stuff. All right, well, you know, have a go at that yourself. It really does only take a few minutes and it's well worth doing it if you are ever stuck on a lock or want to just see what you're doing while you're practicing. All right, I'll see you next time.